peace hello welcome back to my channel today i've done my updated base routine so like the products i'm using at the moment techniques i'm using all that good stuff so it's just a little update a little bit of fun um it's quite chatty i feel like i've talked quite a bit about what i'm doing so informative yes i didn't record my eyebrows i have a separate eyebrow routine it's a little bit further down on my channel it's not changed since then but then as far as my eyeshadow i've got a video on my tiktok coming out if it's not come out already it'll be out in the next few days i really hope you enjoyed this video all the products that i use will be down in the description bar box box bar box i hope you enjoy thank you for watching also sorry if i have stuff in my teeth i've just had my lunch cold pasta from tesco spicy mm. Look at these like bowl patches I have in here. It's just not okay. Okay, so I have already cleaned my skin. I've done all my skincare, all that good stuff. I am gonna do like my priming step. So I'm just all about the glow at the minute. I mean, I've always been about the glow, but even more so now. So I'm gonna start with the NYX Bright Maker. I kind of just put this in the center of my face. I do two little blobs. You can't even really tell on camera why, but I swear in person it adds like a, a glow and it's quite stunning and now to just like emphasize the glow a little bit more i'm gonna go in with this revolution fix and glow ultra glow primer i'm just gonna pop a little bit on this on the back of my hand this is like a little bit more runny so i more just put that on the outside and then to finish it off i use the pixie rose essence oil which is like my favorite favorite thing i think i've spoke about this before on my channel because it's just stunning if you have dry skin you just need to get this and put it underneath your makeup because it will just make your makeup look so hydrated especially like throughout the day it brings that like little tiny bit of like pretty oil through i notice if i don't have it on and it stresses me out now i'm out sugar just out my leg on the bloody radiator okay so now for foundation there's a few that i have been really liking lately um the misguided demi matte foundation i really like the it cosmetic cc cream i got last week and i really like that but it's a little bit too light for me right now because i've got fake tan on the makeup revolution glow pro thing one that i really really like is the kat von d good apple foundation i know a lot of people don't like this but i really like it just start buffing that into my skin and i'm using the shade medium 027 i like this foundation because you can really like customize the coverage because it is really pigmented you can kind of put a little bit on and then spread it out or you could really pack it on and get like doll face you know i have like dog scratches all over my face i've got a new puppy and he just is loving his claws at the minute so i have scratches on my face that are stinging me so when that is all blended in i'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution eye bright illuminating on dry concealer in the shade light and i just put that in all of the usual places should i zoom in a bit i'm gonna zoom in down the sides of my nose cupid's bow chin always under the cheekbone because it just adds so much structure to your face in between my eyebrows down my nose and then i'm just going to use the exact same brush to blend it out um i also love my beauty blenders but i don't know i've just got really lazy lately and i just can't bother to wet them under the sink so i've just been grabbing this brush which is a lovely brush and it's from morally beauty and i just blend all that in okay cool occasionally lately i have been doing a little bit of cream contouring and i've just been taking a darker shade of that concealer popping it on blending it with the same foundation brush but i'm gonna leave it today i'm not really feeling it i'm just gonna go straight onto my cream highlight which of course i'm using my benefit what's up when i'm a little bit paler i love the makeup revolution it's their new like liquid highlighter it's the same sort of range as all this like glow products that they've been releasing absolutely stunning i love this as well because it's just not sticky like i find with some liquid highlight um it can just feel very tacky and this doesn't do that at all it just like sinks into your skin and just adds like a glow from within and now i'm gonna move on to cream blush because i just i'm obsessed with cream blush like cream products in general i feel like are just a big trend at the minute and i'm all for it i absolutely love it got hairs in mine that's just lovely my dog hairs um but this is from a brand called paul and joe you can get them on beauty bay and this is in the shade one and it's actually their gel blush so i'm taking that on another morally beauty brush and i just dip it in and it looks kind of a crazy color quite bright but it honestly just sculpts your face so much i kind of love that almost lush colored contour rather than the super bronzed ashy contour now i love how this just frames my face and pulls out my cheekbones 
and it just looks super youthful and pretty. This side, and because it's a cream as well, it just it looks like your skin. And then I take a tiny bit just over the bridge of my nose as well. I am gonna go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Powder in Light. I don't wanna put too much powder on because I have dry skin. I can kinda get away with not putting too much on. But I mainly just focus it in my T-zone area and setting my eyelids and under my eyes so they don't cross. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I'm going in with my Max Sun Power. Obviously it's like super dark, but just a really light dusting of it. I'm also loving one of the Fenty Beauty bronzers. Those formulas are so nice as well. I'm gonna take a big Real Techniques brush apply that lightly onto my forehead. I don't do like specific contouring now. I just kind of run the bronzer along my cheekbone area to put any excess down my neck just to warm that up and make it all look cohesive. Now I'm just gonna take the same bronzer because I'm lazy, but um, normally to contour my nose, I would go in with a little bit of a cooler bronzer shade, uh, but I'm gonna take again, just like a little tiny fluffy brush from Morally Beauty. I'm gonna do two thin lines really close together on either side of my nose. Extend that up toward my eyebrow. Just pop a little bit on, on the underneath of my nose and I do the little piggy line, what I call it. Little piggy line, so just a little bit higher than the tip and it just kind of creates that kind of piggy pointy nose shape. And then I'm just gonna take that same brush and put a little bit under my lips. And then I'm gonna take the Pixie Rose. This is their glowy powder in Rose Dew. So it's basically just like a really shimmery blush. I take my Real Techniques blush brush and just do a really quick little sweep of that. Because I've already put so much cream blush on, I don't really need to add too much color, but this kind of just adds like an iridescent <laughs> pinky glow, which is nice. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Kat Von D powder and I'm gonna take the little powder puff that comes with it. I'm gonna get a little bit on the side of the brush and I just clean up under that contour a little bit. And then I pinch the powder puff, get a little bit of product and I like to go down either sides of my nose, just at the side of those darker lines that we created. And this will just help clean up the nose contour, just make it look a bit sharper. And I don't really carry it down to like the piggy part because we want that to kind of be like pointy. Um, so I just focus it like at the top. I've got a hair in my eye, wow. And then if you've gone like a little bit over the lines, you can just go back in with your brush. And then I'm gonna take this ColourPop uh, Press Powder Blush. Uh, I don't know what shade it is. It was in their Melrose collection, but it's just kind of like a deep pink. And I'm just taking the small kind of contour style brush from Beauty Bay, adding a little bit of the blush color just the sides of my nose because I really like that kind of sunburn nose thing. And then we'll add freckles in a minute. And I just like how it looks for me. Yeah. I dropped it. For highlight, I've been kind of switching up my highlight brush recently, like trying a few different brushes. Lately, I've been using this fan brush from Beauty Bay and I've just really liked it because it doesn't apply as much highlight as some other blush, as some other brushes that I've used. We've really got like so much dew going on. We don't need too much highlighter. Or do we? Or do we need more? I don't know. It's your goal, I guess. I can't get this bloody thing open. I can't get it open, guys. How bad are you? I've done it. I've done it. So I would say the highlight that I've been using the most lately is definitely the Maven Beauty Dripped Out, which is like a gold shade. Like it's so stunning. But I got sent this highlighter last week from ColourPop and this is in their Barbie collection, which is stunning. Um, and you've got like a massive mirror, which I love, and then a huge pan. And it's just like, again, a beautiful kind of golden shade. Feel of this, it honestly feels like it's butter. I'm like, this is butter, I'm gonna put it on my toast. Stunning. I'm gonna go over my fan brush, get a nice bit of product on there. Just set down that highlight on my cheeks. I almost kind of pat it on, just so it doesn't disturb the cream product. It doesn't kind of move anything. Add it on to my chin, to my cupid spell. And then I take my pinky and just do a little bit on my nose. Then to kind of finish off my base, I love to add my freckles. So I did a freckle video a couple videos back and I explained that probably my favorite way to do my freckles is using my fake tan and a little eyeliner brush. But another thing that I've just been loving because it's just so quick and easy not as messy and you can just grab it do it and go um it's the misguided frex appeal freckle pen it's just so easy to use and it's just really quick pretty self-explanatory i'm just gonna dot on my freckles and then tap them out with my finger just to kind of blend them in a little bit and then i'm just gonna apply them onto my nose so yeah 
I kind of put them everywhere because I love it. Okay, and then finally to finish off my updated base routine, I go in with a setting spray, any, I have loads that I love. I love Mac Fix Plus, I love the Maven Beauty one, NYX do some great ones, Makeup Revolution do some good ones, uh, Mario Badescu sprays even. But one that I've been reaching for a lot at the moment is the Urban Decay All Nature Makeup Setting Spray because this is so, this stuff makes your makeup so long lasting. And this, as well as helping your makeup last longer, it just makes it a lot more hydrated, kind of helps the products merge together and just, just become one, you know? So that is it for my updated base routine. I'm gonna come back when I've done the rest of my makeup to talk more shape. Peace and love. <laughs> and that is it that is the finished makeup look i'm so sorry if i have hot chocolate in my teeth or if my teeth are dirty i have just eaten i really hope you enjoyed maybe learned something i don't know make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to go follow my instagram my tiktok they're both maddie hill with an extra m at the start uh we're nearly like a few hundred away now from 350k on tiktok and we're not even at 10k on instagram so that's kind of shocking please go follow me on there i post every single day on both platforms and i post every wednesday at 6 p.m on my youtube so i'm consistent okay and if we get a little bit more love on here i'm more than happy to bump it up to two video two videos a week more than happy delighted in fact so yeah i hope you all have a wonderful week love you lots 